Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I want to show you how I've been carding. Um, I've been carding this uh, second time, so I'm going to be carding one more time just to show you how to make it fluffy because we're brushing these fibers, right? They're Angora Rabbit. So I uh, just want to show you. And I found this. <laughs> It's one of my sons, uh, when he was a kid, we bought the Harry Potter uh, uh, swore, I guess. It's tiny, but it does the, do the job. So, uh, like I said uh, on my first video, uh, this is second, uh, second uh, hand. So, uh, and uh, it's Ashford. Yeah, I found it. It is Ashford. So, I am aiming for this fluffiness. To create this shine and I'm going to add two clips to this video so you can see how uh, it's been uh, carding it's very time-consuming and I did hurt my wrist my right wrist while I was trying to card this but it happens right what can we do okay so I moved this to closer to me and uh, so what I'm doing is I have this uh, bristle brush. I think I bought it from Walmart. It's a 100% bristle, boar bristle. I believe it's made out of uh, buffalo hair. I don't know. Looks like it's plastic. But anyways, yeah. So this is perfect to pick up the Angora. This brush. See how it picks up? So uh, if you're working with Angora Rabbit, I would highly recommend you to use something like this or else it's, it just sticks into the carter, the drum carter. So I am moving this as slow as I can. Okay. And I am brushing this out of the carter. And you can see how it, this is, this is, I believe I did two times. So I'm going to do one more time just to show you. So I'm aiming for this fluff. Sometimes I even did five, depends depending on what I'm aiming for, right? And you will see these uh, <laughs> things that you, we need to remove from the fiber because I'm going to be spinning this, right? To create a yarn, to make yarn. So I uh, try to remove those uh, if you're... Because uh, uh, I did notice when I bought hand-spun yarn in the past years... There were lots of uh, things in the yarn that I had to remove myself while I was knitting them. So it does happen. People can miss them. But just be cautious to remove them. See how nice it comes out? See? Isn't this gorgeous? So uh, just like this, I'm removing the fiber from the drum carter. So I will add those clips showing you uh, pictures, videos I took. So I will continue moving these, removing them from the carter. And uh, I'll be back. See, there's a little tiny thing. I'm gonna. And I don't want to remove the hair, right? Because the hair is precious. Just like this. You need to be very patient working. Uh... Okay. Ta-da, it came out. See? See how much Angora Rabbit I have? So I'm going to add this one more time. Okay. Just going to grab these because they're all over. Let's 
See how it picks up? I love this brush. I figured that myself. No one told me. You know. Okay. It's a little bit heavy. But what can you do? Okay. So, what I do is, I put this back here, nice and slowly. Just like this, to the feeder. I guess that's what it's called. And I am going to turn the carter, the drum carter. Slowly, try, let me just do it this way. Okay, I don't want it to grab it all, just slowly. Clockwise. See? As you can see, it's coming right here, and uh, there's lots of uh, fiber here as well. As it's pulling, I'm trying to pull as well, because we need to brush the fiber, right? So this is what this would be the third time, and uh, I think three is enough. Yeah, five I did because I had so much fiber in it on the carter. We're trying not to just slowly like this. And try to pull it. Don't put them all in or else it will be hard to turn. So I'm turning the handle as I go. Just like this. <laughs> it's very sticky. See, some of the fiber aren't paralyzed, so I'm trying to Make it paralyzed, paralyzed towards the drum carter. See, this one is sticking again. I tried to pull this. how short some of the hair are so short oops oops sorry <laughs> yep Lying all over. What I can do is just stick this on the, sh the short ones because they're uh, super fluffy. They fly around. And try to pull as you go. Just like this. Oops, too much, too much went to the feeder. See, I'm trying to have the fiber parallel, parallel towards the feeder. So uh, I don't want it horizontal. Some of the fibers are 
horizontal like this one. So yeah, let me just try to uh, can separate these. Okay, this uh, process is going to take a while because uh, I'm trying to brush them, right? I'm trying to brush the fiber. Just like this. See? Nicely done. Now, some fell on the... Perfect. So, some, most of the fibers are here. What I do is, see there's a separating, same as this one. So what I do is I pull this, and uh, I kind of use the brush like this somewhere on the brush. If it was a different fiber, usually there, there shouldn't be any fiber here. They all move here, but because this Angora rabbit, it's so uh, sheen and soft and fluffy. Fortunately, it's really hard to uh, move it. So there's another way. I can uh, just like this. I continue. See how it picks up the fiber, the brush. It's like cotton candy. Just like this. So I've been turning this over 10 times now. I think it's enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the fiber from the drum carter. And that will be it. And I will start doing this over and over. Uh, until I finish. I don't know. Until I have a, about half a kilogram. Uh, about over a pound of fiber. So uh, then I will start spinning. That's, this is going to take me a while. This process is really time consuming. Okay, let me just move this again here because I'm going to separate this from here again, just like this. Just to remind, uh, these fibers are plugged from the rabbits. Every three months they shed, like naturally. So uh, they don't get hurt because it's naturally they shed. But uh, people like us human beings have to plug them, either cut or, you know, pull it. There's uh, several uh, friendly videos that who's breeding rabbits who does this because they love their pets right they love their rabbits so uh without harming them you need we they need to be plugged every three months okay so i am again removing this from the drum carter and this will be done so uh just to show you how nice and shiny well it's really hard to tape take pictures but it's really fluffy it's, it's really hard to take the picture and tape it 
and uh, yeah just like this see how nicely it comes out see the third one came out nicely so I am rolling this as I go I'm pulling it doesn't come out I use the brush just like this and see I see I pick up these these uh, I think they're called highs from the rabbits they feed super soft Just like that. See how nice it picks up? Love it, love it, love it. Love this brush. Again, it's a... Uh, oh, this is the brand. And it's bristle. 100%. Really helpful. If you're thinking of carding. See how it's fluffy? So I hope you like this video. I just wanted to show you how the end result is on the first one i tried to explain how you can uh, card either you can use brushes or, but uh, i like this one way better because it uh, does a faster job because with hand, hands it's harder yeah so i will add those two clips and uh, i hope you like this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share it with your family and friends and don't forget to hit that notification button so every time i post a video you will be notified have a great day